the Knights of Columbus released Into the Breach, a groundbreaking 12-episode video series that shows what it means to live as a Catholic man and the challenges of today's world. It helps men transform their lives in Christ, seek heroic virtue, and achieve greatness through God's grace. Each episode focuses on a major theme, such as masculinity, leadership, or suffering. And today we're going to take a look at the theme of life. So I met my wife, I was playing for the Vikings. She was still in college. I'd fallen away from my faith, you know, pretty hard at that point. My wife drug me back to church. I mean, getting married, having kids, right? It's sort of like a reclaim the faith as my own. I want to be a great husband, and I want to be a, I want to be a great father, and I want my kids to have the faith as well. Football is a very spiritual game. The locker room is a very spiritual place. And I think people are surprised to learn that. You do all these things all throughout the year, and just for a few opportunities, you know, 10, 12, 16 games, I say it's gonna bring you to your knees, so you might as well start there. And you realize that, hey, NFL, it's a good deal. It's fun, but it's what's real is, is God and Jesus Christ, and you know that's what's that's what's important. So my wife had always volunteered at pregnancy centers, and just quietly, you know, she'd go fold clothes, you know, help out. One day my phone rang, and it was the it was the archbishop. But he said, well, you come speak at the Maryland March for Life. And I thought, well, yeah, you know. Our very own Baltimore Ravens, Mr. Matt Burke. This is, this is really cool. I mean, this is. <laughs> I met a lot of women who were there who had had abortions. These women have had abortions, regret it, still have that pain, and yet they're here passionately marching, fighting for the unborn, wanting to make sure that other women don't make the same mistake. But I was like, that right there is proof. I mean, if you really step back and say, wow, I mean, we, we allow unborn babies to be killed, right? And if, if, if we're men and we're responsible for the hearts and the minds and the souls of our wives and our kids, um, we have to stand up to evil. That was probably the spark that you know, inside of me, kind of lit the lit the bonfire. Just very fortunate because of my platform to have more opportunities, stand up for the unborn, and, and hopefully inspire others to do the same. So it's absolutely a men's issue. We march because if you've ever seen a baby being born, even though it happens millions of times a day, it's still a miracle. It's pure joy. Don't we need more miracles? Don't we need more joy? Don't we need more love? That's why we march. And at the end of the day, there's only two choices. You're either pro-life or you're pro-abortion. And we are unapologetically pro-life. That's why we march. God bless us all. to thrive as a family. That's the number one thing that, that, that I can do to live out our, our convictions. God, you've, you've blessed me with eight perfect children, right? And sometimes with your kids, something will happen or they'll laugh and you are 100% lost in the moment. To me, that's just a glimpse of heaven. God's given you a glimpse of heaven on earth got a soft spot for kids that don't have fathers, whose fathers aren't around. And um, one day my wife says, I think we need to adopt. And so thought about it, prayed about it, said, yeah, okay, we'll open ourselves up to it. Two birth mothers chose us. It's like same time, same day, and it was like, oh. All right, God, here we go again. 